Hey there. Welcome back. Look what I've got. Three big old boxes. These boxes are from Uniformation. I wonder what's inside. So, I was sent these boxes from Mia at Uniformation and I'm pretty excited to show you guys what's inside. So without any further ado and any uh, more jib jab from me, let's crack these boxes open. I am not going to bore you with the whole taking it out of the carton, so I'll go ahead and get everything unboxed and then I'll come back and I'll show you what's inside. So what we have here is the new Uniformation GK2 10.3 inch 8K printer. Uh, there are a lot of things about this printer that I want to go over with you guys. Um, over here we've got the Uniformation Ultrasonic Cleaner and the Uniformation Curing Station. Since I have like no room, these things are so huge, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the curing station. You guys know how a curing station works. You put your model in, you set the time, and it cures it for you. So I'm going to move the curing station so I can have a little more room and uh, maybe we can get this thing uh, shown to you guys. So I will be back shortly uh, after I remove this guy and reset my camera angle where I don't have to lean over it. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we can focus solely on this new Uniformation printer. I was so stoked when Mia reached out to me and said, we want you to make a video of our new Uniformation GK2 8K printer. As most of you know, I print and paint figures, and the more detail that you can get, the better off you are. So, let's go over some things about this printer. Um, your vat comes with a extruded plastic vat cover. I normally print constantly, so covers aren't really a thing for me, but if I ever need one, then I got one. Let's go over what came in the box. Let's scoot him down a little bit. This printer comes leveled from the factory. You shouldn't have to do any kind of leveling. The only time you're going to level is if you have adhesion problems. Um, you know, things can get jostled around in shipping and you may have to level the printer. They have given you everything that you need to level this printer and it's super easy. You just unscrew four little screws a little bit. You have your leveling paper and then you have these four little test strips for lack of a better term, that you put on each corner and you level your bed that way. This video is not about leveling this printer, so we're going to put that back in. You also get in the box their little card telling about their other machines. If you only buy the GK2, it tells about the curing station, the ultrasonic cleaner, and their resins. You get the GK2 manual that tells you everything that you need to know about working this printer. You get the little certificate that it was quality checked, and then you get how to work their GK slicer. Now, this printer will work with Chichu Box or the GK slicer. The GK slicer is based on Prusa slicer, and if any of you know, I am a huge advocate of supporting your files in Prusa Slicer for other printers. I have a lot of other branded printers and each one of those gets supported in Prusa Slicer 
and then sliced in chicha box so I can get that extension file. This printer and the GK1 are both based on Prusa Slicer for their slicers. We get amazing supports that are super simple and no failed prints. You get an extra screen protector and you also get an extra NFEP. In the box, we have our power cable, which this is already plugged in. You get some filters, which um, I don't know that I ever use these filters because I don't empty resin. You get some gloves. You get some extra screws, which I'm not really sure why you would need those. Everything is already screwed in. All you do is plug it in and go. You get a little funnel does not really match the size of the filters, but I guess the actual filter area is down inside of there, so um, you're going to have to do a little finagling to get that to work, but it's pretty cool. You get some tweezers and some Allen wrenches in all sizes. gratuitous little cutters. You get a screwdriver Allen wrench. I love these for changing FEP. You get a large spatula. These are, these are great actually for taking your prints off. This is my favorite thing. I pretend to not pour the resin back in the bottle because I'm probably going to print within a couple days or so. This thing is a silicone spatula, whatever. This thing is amazing for stirring the resin back up because you don't have any worry of scratching your fat. And it's, it's, yes. And then your teeny tiny little USB, which I'm told there are some pretty great files on it. And then I want to tell you guys a few things about this printer. So first of all, easy open and I know you can't see that because I need a wide angle lens for this guy um, easy very easy open front open hinged lid just the same as the GK1 it does feel like it's a little bit stouter maybe thicker acrylic I'm not sure it feels a little heavier and then the, here's the really cool thing Check this out. Let me get this here where you can see it. The bill plate. You just pop that up and off it slides. And it's a solid bill plate. If you guys know uh, from, the, from the original GK1, that bill plate had holes in it. And <clears throat> sometimes there were issues with the holes and there was a workaround that I did a video on video on, on uh, just increasing the pad height and that helped a lot. But this is really, really awesome. I love the way that it just slides off. It's just super simple. You just slide it on, lock it down, and you're good. This is just so simple. Pop it up slide it off and then here's the cool thing I wanted to show you guys let me slide this over real quick you take your print off of your printer open up your ultrasonic cleaner and the bill plate fits right down in there you put the print and everything right down in there and it's good to go you do your little ultrasonic cleaning and then you take your print off Everything is cleaned. Everything is just not all messy. You're getting rid of so much mess. Let's put this back over here. Another cool thing about this printer. The vat. No more screws to get all messy. The vat slides in. It just slides in. It feels like it's made... I think it's plastic. Yeah. 
it is plastic, but the little clips that hold it in are metal. And they look to be pretty solid. So there's no worry of breaking those off. It just goes in the printer and slides in and locks. And it is, it is in there. It's, it's not going to be pulled up when your bill plate rises. This is also a heated printer. So it heats to a constant temperature of 26 C. That is 78.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you are in a colder state or if you have the printer out in a garage or a shop that you worry about your resin getting too cold and having failed prints for that, this heats. It heats up and keeps it at a constant temperature of 78.8 F. That's pretty awesome. It is filtered on the back of the printer. There is a filter cartridge that has a carbon filter in it and it just slides in just like that and it's in and it's it's like magnetized or something something holds it in there I don't know but the cool thing is there's a fan that pulls this in through the carbon and then to not waste the heat from that it blows back in from the little bottom port it blows back into the printer keeping that constant temperature the USB is on the front another awesome <laughs> another awesome thing yes USB on the front power button on the front everything just tells me innovative innovative they are thinking, they are forward thinking and thinking outside the box when it comes to all the things that make a printer good. It tells me that they have been listening to people and not just throwing out something that they can say, oh, here's an 8K printer that still has those same old features that the other ones had, that the monos, that the 2K printers had. Everything is the same, but thinking outside the box is what makes Uniformation such a great company. This video is not sponsored by Uniformation. They didn't pay me to say this stuff, but I'm telling you, of the 11 resin printers that I own, the GK1 was my go-to printer. I have a feeling that the GK2 is going to be number one now because I really want that extra detail that I can get from an 8K printer. And 10.3 inches, wow, what can I print? I've got some amazing things in store. So, if you like this video, please subscribe. And if you do, you're going to see some really cool things. And, yeah, I like this printer. Let's see what it can do. All right. I will post links, links that are possible. This printer is not available until October 31st, but right now, if you go to the Uniformation website, and I will link it, this printer is $764 on a pre-order. It will be $899 after October 31st. Check it out and see if this might be a good printer for you. If you are just getting into printing, and you want to go big and you want to go 8k the leveled from the factory is enough alone to make you want to look at this printer because I know people have a lot of problems leveling the other the other branded printers when they first start out and then they get frustrated and quit this is a good option so with that being said I am so glad that you watched my video. Please give it a like if you liked it. <laughs> if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. In these boxes, I have got what I think is going to be probably 
the we've lost our train of thought <laughs> 